If I had to start my tech journey over today, I'd skip four years of slow traditional learning and follow just five steps. Steps you can start today to break into the field of AI. The AI market is predicted to explode to $2 trillion by 2030. Pretty much every company is raising to build their own revolutionary AI systems. The demand for professionals who can build this future is huge. But most people learning AI right now are doing it completely wrong. They're either drowning in math theory they'll never use or jumping straight into creating ChatGPT wrappers without understanding how anything works under the hood. Both approaches lead nowhere. Even worse, many are completely confused by what AI even means. Is it the same as data science? Is AI researcher the same as AI engineer? Without this knowledge, you're basically directionless. I've worked in tech for over a decade and helped thousands of learners start new careers in the industry. If I had to start from zero in 2026 and wanted to get into the AI industry fast, I wouldn't waste a single day on traditional university programs or touch any maths or calculus. And I definitely wouldn't try to learn everything before building something real. Instead, I'd follow these five steps, essential first moves that will start your journey towards any AI career you want. Data scientist, AI engineer, data analyst, product manager, and more. Plus, I'll share the biggest mistakes that trip up beginners so you can avoid them. This is what actually works in 2026. The first step has nothing to do with which tools you learn. It's all about getting into the correct mindset. Step one, stop trying to learn everything before you start. The biggest mistake? Thinking you need to master complex topics such as calculus, linear algebra, big development frameworks, all of this before writing a single line of code. That's the old academic route, and it's painfully slow. By the time you finish all that theory, the tools have evolved and you've forgotten half of it, and you're no closer to building anything valuable. The industry moves too fast for that approach. In 2026, most companies don't care if you can derive neural network equations by hand. They care if you can turn ideas into working AI solutions that solve real problems. So instead, take a lean approach. Focus on the essentials to build your first project. Get your hands dirty, make mistakes, break things, then learn the theory behind what you're doing, but only when you can identify how that benefits you. This is faster, more motivating, and gets you the results in a fraction of the time. Once you encounter a problem that requires more complex theoretical knowledge, that's when you learn it. This way, you do it knowing exactly why you need it. So what skills do you actually need? Here's step two the core technical foundation that opens every door, no matter which specialization you eventually choose. Step two, master the core technical skills. This step has five stages that build on each other. Here's the order that makes most sense. Stage one, set up your work environment. You can build anything without a workspace. So install Python, the language that powers AI. Set up Visual Studio Code or Jupyter Notebook for writing code. Add Git and GitHub for version control so you don't accidentally lose work. Get access to Google Colab for free GPU power for training your first models. The official documentation walks you through everything. You'll be ready in under two hours and already start playing with some code that you will write yourself. Stage two, learn Python fundamentals plus data handling. Python is your tool for everything in AI. Start with the basics, data types, loops, functions, and object-oriented programming. Even with AI helping you, knowing how to read code and spot when AI is making mistakes is crucial. Then try out three essential libraries, NumPy for working with numbers, Pandas for cleaning and transforming data, and matplotlib for visualizations. These three are going to be foundations for any data role, and data is what powers any kind of AI. Besides official walkthroughs, try free resources like FreeCodeCamp or Python.org's tutorials. And finally, find a small project that excites you to master what you've learned. Stage three, 
understand how to use LLMs as a developer. Now that you know the basics of coding, you can start using LLMs in much more powerful ways. Main AI providers, such as OpenAI, provide APIs to access their models directly. At this stage, basic web development skills are what's going to help you a lot. So you should start looking more into popular frameworks that would make building online platforms easier. React, Express, Superbase, are good starts. Experimenting with integrating LLM models into your own custom-built tools will teach you the core principles for becoming an AI engineer. That is, if you choose this specialization. If you want to go even deeper, you can check libraries such as Langchain, Langgraph, and Langsmith. These are essential for building more complex systems and eventually AI agents. Stage 4 master machine learning fundamentals. This is where the so-called traditional AI takes shape. Machine learning teaches systems to recognize patterns and make predictions from data. Having this knowledge will help you to avoid a common pitfall today, using LLMs for all problems, even when it's far from being the best tool for the job. Learn supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Study basic regression, classification, decision trees, and random forests. Understand model evaluation. Scikit-learn is a good library to help you achieve all of this, and they have some great free guides. Remember, be curious and build something tangible. Predicting housing prices, classifying spam emails, forecasting trends. Stage 5. Learn just enough math and basics of deep learning. This is where it gets more complex, and it's only relevant if you want to go to the more advanced parts of AI. For example, becoming a data scientist or even an AI researcher. To go deeper and create your own models, math becomes necessary here. It will allow you to understand what your data tells you and why models act in certain ways. Focus on three areas first. Linear algebra for understanding how data moves through models, probability and statistics for making predictions, and basic calculus for optimization. Use Khan Academy or Google's machine learning crash course. Learn just enough to describe data sets mathematically and understand model predictions. Don't try to master everything. You can go deeper later as needed, especially if you choose a direction like data science or data analytics. Now here's where most people struggle. Knowing which skills to learn is one thing, but staying consistent and learning efficiently is another. This is where your learning path makes all the difference. Step three, choose your learning path. There are three ways to learn AI, university, self-teaching, and structured programs. Two of them are either too slow or too chaotic for 2026. University can take four years or more and often costs a fortune. And most don't even bother with AI-specific degrees. By graduation, half the tools you've learned are outdated. Self-teaching gives you freedom and access to incredible resources like Kaggle, Hugging Face, documentations, and technical blogs on Medium, things that you will very likely be referred to by a university anyway. But finding and following it all on your own requires requires massive discipline. Most people get lost, waste months on rabbit holes, and never know if they're learning the right things. Structured programs are the most efficient path for 2026. You get practical skills in three to nine months, a clear roadmap, expert feedback, and real projects that mirror industry needs. If you're new to coding, programs that combine software engineering with AI give you the foundation. If you already code, focused AI courses help you to specialize fast. Self-taught can work. Plenty of people do it, but if you want structure, speed, and accountability, a well-designed program is your fastest route to employment. Once you've mastered the skills, this next step transforms knowledge into a career, and it's what most people procrastinate on forever. Step four, build portfolio projects. Nobody hires based on courses completed. They hire based on what you've built. Your portfolio proves you can solve real problems and deliver working solutions. One strong end-to-end -end project beats 10 half-finished tutorials. Build something that pre-processes data, trains a model, deploys it, and presents results clearly. Build an AI agent that automates a real task that you're always annoyed to do manually. That's what employers care about, whether you're applying for data science, AI engineering, or analyst roles. You can use Kaggle for datasets, big projects in areas that you love. If you love language, build a chatbot with features that no other tools have right now. If you're into visuals, create a computer vision app. If you're interested in business, build a recommendation engine. It can be a chatbot with RAG, 
retrieval augmented generation that visualizes your conversation topics and knowledge. It can be an image classifier deployed as a web app, a sentiment analysis dashboard with real-time visualizations. All these can prove you can build systems that work. Pro tip, document everything. Write about your process on Medium or LinkedIn. Create clear readmes on GitHub. Post demos if possible. You're proving you can solve real problems, not just follow tutorials. But here's where things get interesting. This next step determines not if you just get hired, but also what kind of AI career you will have. Step five, pick your specialization and career path. AI is too broad to master everything. The people who get hired go deep in one area, but the field offers diverse paths depending on your interests and strengths. You can become a data scientist, analyzing business trends and building predictive models, a machine learning engineer, training and deploying models at scale, an AI engineer for connecting existing models into unique new products, an AI researcher pushing the boundaries of what's possible, an AI product manager defining what gets built and why, and managing teams of engineers. Try small projects in two or three areas. See what excites you the most. Do you love exploring data? Data science might be your path. Love building production systems connecting lots of data? ML engineering. Building projects rapidly with LLMs as a core? AI engineering. Enjoy business strategy? Product management. Once you find your direction, go deep. Follow experts on LinkedIn and Twitter. Read towards data science and the gradient. Join communities on Reddit or Discord. Build increasingly complex projects in that niche. Showing curiosity, enthusiasm, and depth is what makes you hireable and opens doors to many different roles. And here's the reality. You don't need to wait until you're an expert to start earning. Once you have a few strong projects and a clear specialization, you can start freelancing, consulting for small businesses, or applying for your first role. The key is picking your path and committing to it. Common mistakes to avoid. Now, before we wrap up, let me save you months of frustration by sharing the biggest mistakes beginners make mistakes I made myself. Mistake one, tutorial help. Endlessly consuming courses without building anything. You feel productive, but you're not actually progressing. The fix? After every tutorial, build something original using what you've learned. Force yourself to apply knowledge immediately. Mistake two, perfectionism paralysis. Waiting until you feel ready before building projects or applying for jobs. Newsflash, you'll never feel ready. The fix? Ship messy projects. Apply to jobs even if you only meet 60% of the requirements. Action beats perfection every time. Especially now, getting a job is a numbers game. Mistake three, ignoring soft skills. Technical skills alone will rarely get you hired. When interviewing companies, we usually hear that for junior roles, more than half of the decision is influenced by soft skills. Communication, teamwork, and explaining complex concepts simply are crucial. The fix? Practice presenting your projects to non-technical friends. Write blog posts, engage in community discussions, and most importantly, don't be afraid to ask questions. Mistake four, building projects nobody cares about. Creating another Titanic survival predictor or iris flower classifier. These are fine for learning, but they don't demonstrate business value. The fix? Build projects that solve real problems. Automate something annoying. Analyze data that matters to companies. Show business impact. Talk to people to find these problems and build value for them. Mistake five, not networking early. Waiting until you're good enough to connect with people in the field. By then, you've wasted months learning alone. The fix? Join AI communities on Discord and Reddit now. Contribute to open source projects. Comment thoughtfully on LinkedIn posts. Attend events. Network while you learn, not after. The industry is changing so rapidly, you need a community to share the huge task of simply keeping yourself on top of what's going on. So, those are the five steps to break into AI in 2026. Stop trying to learn everything fast, master core technical skills through five stages, choose the right learning path, build portfolio projects that demonstrate value, pick your specialization and career path, and avoid the common mistakes that derail most beginners. Now look, these steps give you the framework, but there's a lot more detail to cover, like exact timeline for each stage, which specific resources are worth your time, how to structure your portfolio for maximum impact, and how to navigate the job market once you're ready. That's what we're going to break down in an upcoming video on the complete AI learning roadmap. We're covering all of this every single week on this channel. AI tools, 
project walkthroughs, career advice, interviews with people who've made the transition. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it and drop a comment below. Tell us which step you're starting with or what AI career paths interest you most. We read every comment and use them to plan future content. We'll see you in the next one.